All right, welcome down to Southern California. Today, we're taking a look at this Polydrops P19 Shorty trailer. We're gonna look at everything you need to know about this trailer, why it may be a great trailer for you to pick, not only for your electric vehicle, but for any vehicle for that matter. I'm gonna be staying in this guy for two nights. I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about this vehicle and what was my thoughts using it for the two nights. Let's take a look. Okay, I know, I know what you're thinking. Raj, why don't you just use your Tesla for camping? And now it's a completely valid point. Teslas are great vehicles to camp in, especially because it has the camp mode, it maintains the temperature and so forth. But let me tell you the first reason why I think a trailer attached is actually a better option than camping in your Tesla. Recently, I took my daughter for a space launch down in Southern California, and we were gonna camp in the car. And it was great, but it was very cumbersome. The reason being is that this whole area needs to be your bed. And if you've got car seats or if you've got luggage and things that you're bringing with you, where does that stuff go? By dedicating this entire area of the vehicle to your bed, your storage spaces remain the frunk, the sub trunk, which is hard to get if you're laying on it, and essentially the front seats or down underneath where your feet go. It's not a whole lot of space. And because of this setup here, I'm able to bring things like a fridge. Um, this fridge is plugged into the 12 volt here. It's keeping all of my stuff nice and cold, my eggs, my drinks, my frozen foods, and something like that wouldn't be able to be done. Um, I've also got this giant bag for my Starlink setup, and so I wouldn't have space to really store this, and just general luggage and so forth. So when my daughter and I went, it was very cumbersome to take everything out, basically put it on the ground outside and camp on the inside. With this setup, you don't do any of that. You get out of your car, you bring over whatever things you want into your trailer and your bed and everything is already set up and good to go. That's one of the major benefits of hitching a trailer. Uh, now, this specific trailer, as in many other trailers, are hitched up the exact same way. Let me show you how that works. Okay, now when it comes to towing, the Polydrop works as any standard trailer. Uh, it's connected to a hitch. So your Tesla or your vehicle does need to have a hitch. Uh, our Model Y came with one. And in addition to the hitch, you do need the tow ball. And then you do need the six pin to four pin connector. And that controls the electrical on the back of the Polydrop. One thing to keep in mind is when you are hitched, you cannot use autopilot. Um, so it's just a thing to keep in mind. Now, many of you guys ask, well, Raj, how do you charge with this thing? Unfortunately, Tesla doesn't really give us a way to see which superchargers have pull through. That means you can just pull straight through with your trailer attached. I think not many people, you know, pull trailers in their uh, Teslas. So maybe that's why. But the cool thing here is that it's actually really easy to disconnect this park it, and then go and charge. Uh, I just recently had an opportunity to do it. Let me show you how easy it is to disconnect. Now, if you've never done a trailer before, these are all pretty common stuff, um, but you disconnect your electrical, just like so. Keep that here. Um, and then you've got two emergency clamps here. This is just like as, serve as backup. So that, they clip on on the inside. So you have to just take those off. So here's one. And the other one is, there it comes off. And then I take these two and I just clamp them together. And then after that, all that's left is to raise it. So there's a, uh, a little tab here, you pull this and that disconnects the ball. And I can actually grab this and watch this. Look how easy it is to lift it and move it. And that's benefit that the, tr the trailer is made super lightweight and super efficient. So by picking it up like this, you can drop down your wheel, and now you can take your trailer and tow it and move it wherever you'd like. It's a little bit hard on this tan bark, but let me show you a clip of me moving this at a supercharger. Oh, 
So now we were talking about efficiency with how light this trailer is, but let's talk about its aerodynamics. A lot of work has been done for this vehicle as far as aerodynamics, and you'll see similar cues to what Tesla has done and so forth, because no matter what, no matter what you're towing or what you're moving, it has to move through air. Air is a mass, and so thus we always brag about drag coefficient and how streamlined a vehicle can be. Um, and with this vehicle, that's no exception. You'll see this giant uh, under uh, air carrier right here, which allows the air to pass right underneath it and flow underneath the trailer. You'll see these uh, wings up on top would help channel the air right over the vehicle. As you come around the sides, you'll notice that it's really flat and there's actually, uh, for the wheel well, there are vents that go here, flow over the wheel well. The wheel well has a very aerodynamic hubcap. The air flows out the back. You'll even notice that the back of the trailer has a wing. So it is super, super aerodynamic. And I can validate that with what my efficiency was driving with the trailer and without the trailer. Let me show you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on the screen here a picture uh, that I took uh, after driving and then after hitching up the trailer. You'll see that since my last charge on the trip where I was not towing the trailer, I was getting about 299 watt hour per mile efficiency. After putting on the poly drop, it increased to about 330 watt hour per mile. Um, I traveled about 30 miles with the poly drop, and overall, that's not bad. I've actually seen the same loss on just upgrading your tires to 20s or 21 inch tires. So, overall, for towing a basic room, a basic hotel, which would cost you anywhere from $200 to $300 a night, uh, this is pretty damn efficient, especially when you're towing an EV. It's all about, you know, you not eating up your range or your battery on your EV so that you can travel further. So I think that brings us back down to efficiency, right? Why would you choose this over camping in your Tesla? Well, the Tesla's limited. You're limited to range or your campsite needs to have power to be able to continuously power your vehicle. Otherwise, you gotta know that if you're gonna be using camp mode, the HVAC, heating and cooling inside your Tesla, you're taking away from your range and thus limiting the possibilities of where you can go. With the Polydrop P19 Shorty, you can go anywhere, which is pretty wild because you're not using your energy from your electric vehicle or the gas from your ICE vehicle. You're just sleeping in this and this doesn't require that. And because of the efficiency of this, you don't really need HVAC inside. Let's take a look at everything there is to offer on the inside and outside of this P19 Shorty. Okay, let's start with the rear of the Polydrop. Now, this is an optional accessory. This is the uh, camp kitchen. This is actually made by Yakima, the entire camp kitchen kit, uh, but Polydrops has created a, their own custom uh, hitch mount to be able to have this on the back of their Polydrop P19. Um, this comes with a water tank right here that's uh, pressure, uh, so that way you can actually use your sink as well as a shower, which is really, really handy. Um, inside you've got a full stove and everything. Let me go ahead and put this together and show you just what you get with this kitchen setup. Okay, so of course, super, super handy to have this camp kitchen, highly recommended as an add-on to not only if you purchase a poly drop, but I mean, anything, uh, really cool. You got the sink, uh, you got a cutting board attachment here. You've got a hose that you can use to wash your stuff. It's connected to, I believe it's a four gallon water tank here. You could also use it to take a shower. It is pressurized. Um, and then you've got your uh, stove that comes with it. You cook it up. Uh, got your propane tank. You've also got extra storage up here, up on the right hand side, some spots for your you know, paper towels or garbage, um, some organizers up here. I've got some uh, Tylenol <laughs> and some salt pepper. Um, I made eggs this morning, which was really nice on the stove top. Uh, I'm gonna be making some lunch soon, so I'll show you guys that. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool uh, accessory that adds onto the back. Now let's hop into the inside. Well, hello there. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. Well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome inside the Polydrop P19 Shorty trailer. 
Now you can see here, I've got a uh, queen size sheet. You can see it's a little bit loose on the bed that's on here. Um, so I'm guessing it's probably about a full um, or somewhere in between. But you can see if I'm sitting all the way to the left, I've got more than enough space for someone to sleep or sit next to me and join me. Um, now I am sitting a little bit slouched um, and that's because my only qualm is that I can't really sit upright without my head hitting this part. I don't really see how it could be done different as this adds to the aerodynamics of the vehicle. If this goes up a little bit more, it's gonna affect efficiency. Not a big deal. I just kind of slouch a little bit more down and I sit like this to read at night or whatever that may be. Um, now, as far as sleeping, I'm 5'10" put my pillow down here and get into position. I've got about a foot from my foot down uh, to the base and I've got about an extra hand above my head and I'm not laying completely straight. If I were to lay completely straight, well, it's still about the same, maybe a little bit less, maybe about half a foot from my feet to the base. Um, so I would say max if you're about six foot or greater, um, it's gonna be a little bit cramping on lengthwise if you're laying completely straight as a board, but Otherwise, not bad. Um, you've got two identical doors on both sides with these pinch and raise windows. And of course, when you do it and open up both sides, you get really good cross ventilation. You can see just how great the lighting is in here. And that's because you've got two door windows, two side windows, and an optional skylight here, all of which can be opened. Great ventilation in here and as well, great lighting. So really, really spacious in here. It doesn't feel cramped. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel just gross. Um, and then if you're not a light fan, they do include these uh, blackout. Uh, you can see that there is these rivets here. And so you can put on the blackout shades over every single window covering if you want that complete darkness. Like you don't want to wake up early with the sun. But I myself, I like the sun to wake me up, especially when camping. So I haven't put them on. But they do come included. Let me flip the camera around and show you what this side of the trailer looks like inside. Now here's where it looks like from the other side. You've got three cubbies here. Uh, in that cubby uh, right there, I've put um, the shades uh, that cover up all the windows. I just kind of stuffed them in there. You could move them elsewhere if you wanted to. The middle is just free for all. I've got some strawberries to stack on, some chips. I've got some sweatpants, some instant coffee. Um, I've got my charging situation going on there for all my chargers. I put my backpack down there because I was pulling camera stuff. My blanket is tucked away right there in that corner. Um, at night, I didn't really need it, but as it got a little bit later, I just wanted it more for you know comfort, but I wasn't freezing in here, um, which was really incredible because it was quite cold outside. And then I stuffed my duffel bag right up in there um, so I can access my clothes and stuff like that and change in here. All the windows are tinted so you cannot see inside, which is really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, really handy. Now keep in mind, if you have your window open like that, you can see, so make sure you close it before uh, changing. But yeah, really, really uh, spacious in here. Now, what's cool about this chassis is that it is a rust-free custom aluminum tube chassis. I mean, just look at how thick these walls are. It's, it's pretty uh, amazing what they've done here. And inside these walls is foam, uh, a custom proprietary foam that they're using. And I can only imagine this is what's keeping that insulation so well inside the cabin. Okay, so it's right around lunchtime and I'm gonna just pick up some things from Trader Joe's. Um, some butternut squash and feta cheese kind of rice thing and then some kebabs. And we're gonna try it out on the Yakima kitchen set that comes with the camper. So let's, uh, let's run this up. is done got some uh, peel off here so I'm just gonna put that oops there goes my napkin ooh that looks good that looks real good turn that guy off and let's get our bobs in here ooh these look good these look real good 
Oh yeah, let's turn that off. Who says you can't eat when you're camping? Check that out. Got some nice uh, peel off. And this is all just frozen from Trader Joe's. Just, as long as you got a grill, you're good. I brought a pot and I brought a pan. Pan to cook stuff. It came with the grill and then the pot for like boiling water or chili or something of that sort. Let's eat. All right, so now we're inside the poly drop and I've uh, taken out the table. This table you did not see before because it was hidden underneath the bed, um, or it can be put as the backrest of the bed, and it's just really easy. There's a fold-out leg that fits in the wedge of the bed because the bed is one of those tri-fold beds, um, and then the hooks just hook onto these existing hooks, part of this uh, organizer here, or the shelving unit, and there you go. You've got a little table. I fit perfectly like this. Um, you know, my back is comfortable because I'm not leaning on the window opener, so I'm leaning just a little bit to the right of that. And this is a great experience. I've got all the windows open, so I've got great ventilation. I'm enjoying my pilaf and kebab, and it's really damn good. So really creative use of this table and having it be as an option uh, inside the polydrop. I like it. I also wanna show you the mattress that's actually underneath here uh, is a pretty thick, nice mattress. Um, I would say it's a good like four inches on there. Uh, pretty reasonably thick, probably about the length of my fingers here, maybe three to four inches, I would say, uh, but some good foam there, and I slept really well on it uh, during my stay. Now, when it comes to pricing, the Polydrop P19 Shorty starts at around just above $12,000. If you get it fully spec'd out, that includes the kitchen, that includes the shades, that includes upgraded wheels, um, and everything else, like this model here, it's gonna run you about $20,000. Now, when you think about that pricing, it seems high, but when you look at other teardrop trailers like this, it's fairly reasonable considering the attention to aerodynamics, the insulation, um, and everything that's gone into this. I would consider this teardrop trailer more of a higher end model with features that you're not gonna find in the cheaper uh, teardrop trailers, especially when it comes to insulation. If you're gonna be sleeping in here, I definitely wanna stay warm or cool in a temperature controlled environment and I feel like this definitely gave me that. So who exactly is the P19 Shorty for? If you're the kind of person who loves the outdoors, wants to get out and explore without the limitations of your battery or your gas or of your vehicle, and wanna still enjoy and have space to pack your stuff, while at the same time having a, a place to stay that's aerodynamic, it's separate from your vehicle, it has great insulation, then check out Polydrop's P19 Shorty. I'll put a link down below to their website so you can check them out. They are a custom order, so you can go down and place a deposit if you're interested. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. Now, I'm gonna enjoy my last night and uh, try to recover from these allergies. <laughs> See ya.